Hello do-it-yourselfers, I'm Terry Peterman, the internet electrician, and welcome to another video short on current topics at electrical-online.com and of course right here on YouTube. Today I'm going to talk to you about just the luxuries that the LED technology has afforded us. Now, this is a fairly simple thing, but these two lamps that you see in here are LED lamps, and I purchased them at a, at a store called Pequeña Mundo in Liberia, here in Costa Rica. And Pequeña Mundo I would describe as Costco meets Dollar Giant or somebody like that. So it's just got pretty much everything you need in there. But I found these particular bulbs. They're LED lamps. And the cool thing about them is that you've got multi-function with them. Of course, they've got their own battery backup. So when you have them screwed into a regular socket and 120 volts applied to that socket, lamp socket or lamp holder, they charge. But... You can turn them on whether they are, have power to them or not because of the internal battery. So what I've done here in my mechanical room is that I've hooked them up to my lamp holders and because the maids and the gardener and such are used to turning the switch on to make the lights come on, what I've done is turn the switch upside down so that when it's off, these lamps are actually charging. And when they turn the switch on, then the lights come on. Let me show you. Okay, so here we are inside the mechanical room with the door closed, a relatively dark condition. Now, as I said, I flipped the switch so that down is actually on. So right now, those lamps are sitting there charging. And when you come in and turn on the switch, those lights come on because they actually lost power. So same goes for if they are off, but they are on because they're charging in that socket. And I shut the breaker off. So of course this would simulate the situation where the power went off and you want to come down to the mechanical room and find out if a breaker tripped or just why the power went off. So here's what happens. The power goes out, your mechanical room lights come on. So now you can see what you're doing, find out if a breaker tripped or anything and know you see that all the breakers are on, then you know it's a problem with the power company. Turn that breaker back on, restore power, the lights go off, but they're charging. So here we are back with the power switch in the down position, which again is actually on. So you can see we've got the charge light going here. And there's two settings on this switch. One is the 19 LED DC is this side. And the other side is AC where we have it set now. So if you want to have these lights on while they are charging, then you just flip it over to the DC and the 19 LEDs come on and they're still charging so they're probably using the power from the source to keep the battery charged and you can have continuous light. All right so just to wrap this one up talking about LED lights and all the options that are afforded to us now that all LED technology pretty much changes 120 volt into a DC source to use for the LED lamp so that provides so many opportunities for cool little inventions such as those lamps I just showed you. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell, and then you'll be notified when I offer new videos and when they're served up, you'll be the first to find out about it. And hey, just a thought on Costa Rica. If there's anybody that would like any more information about life in Costa Rica, we have a little development here that I'm standing in front of our Infinity Edge pool in the Guanacaste region, just south of Tamarindo at a place called Playa Junquial, near Playa Blanca, Playa Negra, beautiful area of Costa Rica. If there's anything you'd like to hear about or know about Costa Rica, maybe just put it in the comments below and maybe I'll do a video and just show you what all Costa Rica has to offer. So let me know. Thanks again. Terry Peterman, the internet electrician.